Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Dennis Bayak of TSN Jets and Sports Radio 1290, and pleased to be your MC for this very special day. Another in the list of many special days we have had here over the past couple of months. May 31st, Mark Chipman announces that True North has purchased the Atlanta Thrashers. Four days later, the drive to 13,000 is complete. Craig Heisinger and Kevin Sheveldayoff were signed to their positions with the organization. June 24th, after much debate amongst the avid Winnipeg fans, your team became the Jets. Claude Noel was named the coach. Captain Andrew Ladd was signed. July 22nd, the logo was unveiled, leading to the Jets' caps and T-shirts flying off the shelves. And a personal high. Last week, when the broadcast team was announced, and thanks to the Winnipeg Jets and TSN, I am thrilled to be part of that broadcast team. That includes Brian Munns and Shane Knighty, who are here today, along with Brian Ingblom and Mike Johnson. It is difficult to put into words what this job means to me, someone who was born and raised about four hours north of here in Winnipegosis. But thrilled, excited, very thankful for the opportunity would all be included. And then last week, the Jets logo found its home at center ice of the MTS Center. We'd like to welcome the coaches, the management, and all the players that are here from the Winnipeg Jets. What a summer it has been for the Winnipeg hockey fans. For many, May 31st to today seems like forever. Your patience has been tested. But the old saying, good things are worth waiting for. For your patience, we thank you. Development of a look, the birth of a logo. These cannot be done in haste. And Kevin Sheveldayoff will get into more of that in a minute. Never in the history of the NHL has there been or will there be as much anticipation for a preseason split squad game as there is in this city and in this province for the September 20th game against the Columbus Blue Jackets as the NHL's Winnipeg Jets hit the ice. And then, of course, let's not forget there is a game on October the 9th when in front of a sold-out MTS center and in front of a national television audience, the Jets will take to the ice to start the 2011-2010-12 NHL season. Oh yeah, did I mention it was against the Montreal Canadiens? A special thank you this morning to 17 Wing for hosting this gathering and being part of this significant moment in the sporting history of the province of Manitoba and the city of Winnipeg. 17 Wing has always been a huge part of this province and the Winnipeg Jets are honored to have you be a huge part of this day. So on to why we are here and I will turn things over to the Executive Vice President and General Manager of the Winnipeg Jets, Kevin Sheveldayoff. Thank you very much, Dennis. It's uh, great to be here on this beautiful, beautiful Man Manitoba day. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining us here today as we unveil one of the final pieces of the puzzle in what has been one of the most exciting summers in the history of sports in this province. Today is the culmination of months of anticipation. So in order not to delay it anymore, ladies and gentlemen, these are the jerseys for your Winnipeg Jets.
Back in June, the process of getting ready for the National Hockey League began on a number of different levels, including the process of developing the Winnipeg Jets team identity. The process included the development of the team logos, which we unveiled in late July, and the home and away jerseys, which are you before you today. To give you some perspective, the normal process of working with the National Hockey League and Reebok on New Jersey concepts normally takes 18 months. That is the time frame that the league typically requires if a team is interested in to change their jerseys or if they want to add a third one. For us, as you know, this process was condensed to six weeks. And what came out of that process is something that we are extremely proud of. We wanted to create a new look that worked well with Reebok's modern and innovative edge system uniforms, but also honored the rich history of hockey in our city and fit the era of the Royal Canadian Air Force, which inspired the primary logo. As you can see, the result is clean, it's simple, and it's traditional. The jersey consists of two shades of blue. First, our primary navy blue color, which is referred to as polar night blue, inspired by the color you see on the dash eight located here in front of you. Secondly, the lighter blue is known as aviator blue which is a close match to the one commonly used by the Royal Canadian Air Force during their history, which included jerseys for the 1948 RCAF Flyers. At this time, I think it's important to recognize some people who are instrumental in the development of these jerseys. First, there is Dominic Fillion from Reebok, who is with us here today from Montreal. Dominic and his design team worked very closely with Mark Chipman and Dorian Murphy from True North and did an amazing job producing what our players and fans will be proud to wear both on the ice and in our community for years to come. We also would like to extend a special thanks to Keith Leach from Reebok, as well as Brian Jennings, Rich Fellini of the NHL, and designer David Mann, who worked directly with True North during this process. This season, our jersey will also include a front patch, one which will be worn on October 9th to commem commemorate our inaugural game against the Montreal Canadiens, and the other will be worn during all regular season games to commemorate our inaugural season, and you can see those patches once the season gets started. For our fans, unfortunately, the jerseys will not be available in the store today. Our first shipment of authentic Pro weight jerseys is scheduled to arrive in October, and our first shipment of premier replica jerseys will arrive about two or three weeks later. However, Jets Gear, the authentic team store for our Winnipeg Jets, will be taking pre-orders for jerseys on our website at www.winnipegjets.com starting today at 4 o'clock. Besides customizing your own name and number or the name of any one of your favorite players on the jerseys, Fans that order through Jets Gear will also have the option, including the inaugural season patch. These patches will only be available to fans through the team's authentic store. One final thanks before I go, and that's to the men and women from the Royal Canadian Air Force, and especially those here at 17 Wing, including gentlemen like Colonel Blaise Frawley and his men. We are very proud to be associated in a small way with the RCAF, and in particular, the humanitarian efforts that they conduct both at home and abroad. For example, ladies and gentlemen, planes like this Hercules that we use to introduce our new jerseys have played huge and important roles in humanitarian aid efforts around the world. To say a few words on behalf of the 17 Wing and the Royal Canadian Air Force, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce Colonel Blaise Frawley. First off, it is with great pleasure that I welcome True North and the Winnipeg Jets to 17 Wing. Honorable Minister, Members of Parliament, Major General Parent, distinguished guests, members of 17 Wing, 
when this installation was known as Stevenson Field, to the stand-up of Number 2 Training Command Headquarters during World War II, Winnipeg's contribution to Canadian security and national interests has been significant. Today, whether we're maintaining our 24-7 search and rescue standby, evacuating thousands of people threatened by forest fires, or facilitating flood relief in Manitoba, we are always ready to serve. Winnipeg is also home to our Air Force's operational headquarters. From there, our commander directs the deployment of aircraft such as the CF-18, C-130, and Dash-8 that you see behind me in missions such as the United Nations sanctioned mission over Libya, as well in as in defending the airspace over Canada and North America through NORAD. In fact, any time a Royal Canadian Air Force aircraft flies anywhere in the world, people here in Winnipeg are monitoring, supporting, and facilitating their operation. Our men and women in uniform are delighted by the gracious manner in which the Winnipeg Jets Hockey Club has sought to pay tribute to our time-honored relationship with this city. Today's announcement at our home in Winnipeg certainly lends a boost to our morale. La façon dont le club de hockey des Jets de Winnipeg a rendu hommage à notre longue relation avec la ville de Winnipeg a tout simplement pris par surprise et a ravi notre personnel de l'escale. We are also very grateful to the Winnipeg Jets for the very generous donation of $1 million over a 10-year period to the Soldier On Fund, the Military Family Fund, and the Air Force Heritage Fund. Thank you. So on behalf of 17 Wing, best of luck in the coming season. We hope you and your fans will wear the Fueled by Passion rendition of the RCAF roundel with both honor and pride. Thank you. Merci.